assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to discuss about the visual equity and the charts that are used worldwide uh, to detect the, the the measurement of the vision of an individual so let's discuss the charts that are used worldwide first of all there are two uh, standard charts one is logmar chart and the second is snellens chart now logmar chart we will discuss this again in some other videos since the measurements of this chart are a little bit uh, difficult they need to be understood and it will take some time so we'll discuss this again so today we're going to discuss about the snellens chart remember both of them are standard charts both of them are used and uh, the logmar chart is a bit more accurate than snellens chart so but like i said we'll discuss this again so today we're going to discuss about the snellens chart so when you walk into an eye clinic you see there's a mirror usually in front of you that is usually done because when the the clinic or the space is small and you they don't know and they can't achieve the exact six meters that are usually the distance from the chart chart so they use a mirror to achieve that full six meters so, so what they do is that they distance the individual from the mirror uh, three meters and with the help of the mirror we can achieve further three meters so we get exact uh, six meters now question arises why do we use six meters why do we need to reach the six meters why not five four seven or eight see the thing is at six meters the light rays become parallel if we are too close to this the light rays they are diverging and we can't get the exact measurement of the the eye and so the six meters is the minimum distance at which the eye rays become parallel and we and the, the, the accommodating power the that factor is excluded of the lens so we get an exact measurement of the lens now we can place it behind six meters as well because behind six meters it is these are parallel but we don't need to go and it will take up extra space and and we don't need that because it's just unnecessary so that's why six meters is used because the light rays are parallel they become parallel at this distance now the optometrist he will pair your one eye first and you will read the letters all from your the other eye and then they will pair the other eye and you will use the, the remaining eye again now when you look at this chart there are numbers written at the sides of this what are these okay first of all you need to know that there's meters and feet some the americans they use it in feet this and that is like 20 by 200 20 by 100 and uh, the other countries also including our country we use it in meters so 6 by 60 or 20 by 200 they are the same thing but i'm going to discuss in the 6 by 60 because in our country this uh, meters is used so what does 6 by 60 mean 6 by 60 means is that what a normal person can read it at a distance of 60 meters you can read it at a distance of six meters now at the top of the snellens chart or the first letter uh, beside it it's written six by sixty so if you can read that letter and you cannot read the and you cannot read the letters below it you can read that letter only the top letter that means you have a vision of six by sixty which means again that that letter can be read by a person with a normal vision at a distance of sixty meters but you at a distance of six meters so six by sixty now that's very bad if you can't read the letters below this uh, this letter on the chart so let's go down if you can read it below that then that is the next line is six by thirty six which means the next line it can be read by a person with normal vision at a distance of thirty six meters and you can read it at a distance of six meters see see the, the nominate the numerator that that will remain the same because you are a distance of six meters but as you go down the chart the letters become small and that in the, the, the accuracy of the vision the, that that increases so as you go down the chart that means your eye eyesight is getting better and better and the numerator will remain the same because your distance from the chart is six meters but the letters are changing so the denominator will change so if you go below that is six by 24 six by 18 six by 12 six by nine and six by six now 6 by 6 is what you need to achieve since you are at a distance of 6 meters and you need to read the letter which can be read by a person with normal vision at this distance so that is usually small and if you can read that then that means your vision is 6 by 6 now in charts there's a letter or a line below 6 by 6 that is a 6 by 5 that means that line can be read by a person with a distance of 5 meters mean that you need to get more close to read that but you can read it at a distance of six meters that means your vision is like way accurate you're so you're way super smart but you don't need to know that 
but usually in IOPDs we just go to the 6x6 vision so this was in meters and in a feet the American system they do it 20 by 200 which means that that the top letter is 20 by 200 in feet which means a normal person can read this at a distance of 200 feet which is equal to 60 meters and you can read it at a distance of 20 feet which is a distance of 6 meters see 20 feet 6 meters that's the same 200 feet and 60 meters they are the same so we just convert it and to feet it's nothing else it's the same thing so apart from that uh, for near vision we use a Jagger's chart just for information and for children they don't know how to read letters so in Snellen charts there are other uh, uh, diagrams and objects such as you know birds uh, tigers lion there are pictures of these objects so they can obviously identify them and they are more interested in pointing out to those objects so for children we can use uh, these charts and this will help us get their exact uh, vision and uh, with these diagrams again the 6 by 60 the 6 by 36 these values these numbers are written with it now another thing is that when uh, you can read only half the line or you cannot read few letters in that line what do you do in that case so the example is that when you can I'm gonna give an example that you can read a 6 by 24 line but you cannot read uh, two letters in that line so you label that person that individual with that particular line that is a 6 by 24 minus 2 since he cannot read the two letters in that line or another example is that uh, he can read the second line if you go from the top but he cannot read one letter in it so you label it that line is 6 by 36 so you write 6 by 36 minus 1 see, since he cannot read that one letter but if the person cannot read more than two letters we don't label it that line we label the line above it that will be a 6 by 60 so you can only say that the person is given opportunity uh, or space of two letters and if you cannot read more than that we don't label it that line and we label it uh, the line above it so guys uh, I hope you after watching this video you must have gotten a uh, basics the idea about the chart the numbers that are written with it if you want me to make any new videos on any other topics that are on your mind please do comment and I will try to make them in the future until my next video guys take care of yourself